Hello friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Friday and I have your word for the day. Well, long time no see. I missed the last couple recordings for word for the day because I've been a little busy being a dad and a husband. On Easter Sunday, my third daughter was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. So God has now entrusted three kids with type 1 diabetes to my wife Christy and I to care for. Three of our four daughters have type 1. So please keep praying for them and for us. Dads and husbands, how do you care for your family? How do you lead them during difficult moments and stress? How do you lead them uh, when all is going well? Paul gives us some advice in Colossians 3, 19 and verse 21. This is specific for dads and husbands. Here's what he writes. He says, husbands, love your wives and never treat them harshly. And fathers, do not aggravate your children or they will become discouraged. That is pretty clear, right? If you want biblical advice to being a dad and a husband, nothing could be simpler. Is it not clear enough? Never, ever, ever, ever treat your wife harshly. Are you tired? Don't treat her harshly. Are you stressed? Don't treat her harshly. Are you confused, misunderstood, or overwhelmed? Do not treat your wife harshly. The Bible teaches us that in marriage, two people become one. So be kind to your wife. And in doing so, you're actually being kind to yourself because you two are now one. Then Paul tells dads not to discourage their kids by aggravating them. That means talking down to them, being condescending toward them. That means telling your kids that they're dumb, stupid, and insulting them. How we treat our children and how we treat our wives have one common denominator, you. So be the kind of man to your family that you want your boys to be when they grow up. And, and be the kind of man to your family that you want your daughters to marry when they get older. Don't push them away. Bring them closer to you and to one another through your love. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, or leave a comment. God bless.